Once you're done pulling your proof, it's now time to use watercolors and some watercolor paper. So here I've taken some watercolor paper that again is cut to size and I've created three different designs. And you're just going to paint two or three different designs onto um, watercolor paper. You're going to set these aside to dry and you want to make sure that you put your name on the back. Now this one happened to be, I happened to find um, recently in the trash. Somebody had thrown it away and I actually think it's really cool. So I'm going to use this one. This is Osvaldo's. Some of you may remember him. Um, but he threw this away and I think it's really cool. So I'm actually going to use it to print on and we'll see how it turns out. So once you've created your three backgrounds for watercolor and they're dry, you are then going to print on your backgrounds and you're also going to choose at probably five different colors papers that I've pre-cut for you and you're going to be printing on these as well but we're going to start with the watercolor and I'm only going to do the watercolor and then I will show you what will happen from there so back to my plate which already has ink from on it from when I pulled my proof I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to re-ink I'm going to add some, other, some more ink to this. Again, looking for that velvet texture. And once I feel I have that velvet texture, then I'm ready to take my watercolor paper that I have using Osvaldo's. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to place it on the print. Again, we don't want it to shift, and we're going to use the burnisher to make sure that everything is transferred nicely. Once you've done that, we're going to pull this off. And now you can see there's my print on that fun background. Isn't that cool? Now once you've printed here, you're then going to go and you are going to do the same thing for each of your papers. So again, I'm going to ink this plate up. And it looks like I need to add some more ink to my plate. I'm going to show you a little trick here because I might have just added a little too much ink and I'm going to show you a trick if you add too much ink. If you think you've added too much ink and it looks really gloppy, take your, your um, brayer and you're just going to press nice and hard on this and just kind of push this down. Notice that the brayer, the roller, actually isn't rolling and do you see how I've just kind of made like a little reservoir down there? So if you add too much, you can always push it down and then when you need more, you just pick that ink up and bring it up top. much better. Okay. So again, there's my paper. Again, you want to put your name on this. Now, um, some students have a really smart idea and they put their name on all of their papers before they even start printing so they don't have to worry about um, remembering to do that. So that might be something you might want to consider. So again, I'm going to put this down. Use my burnisher. Make sure this is nice flat on here. Transfer of ink. And then I'm going to pull that design. So you want to print on each of your watercolor papers and then five of these colored construction papers. It's a lot of fun. Again, don't forget your name on the back. And as soon as you're done printing, it should go over on the drying rack to dry.